talk about all the different types of copy and paste and duplicate that InDesign offers. First, let's look where everything's located. Edit menu, cut, copy, paste, paste without formatting, paste into, paste in place, clear and duplicate. We'll do step and repeat in the very next video. Everyone who's ever used a computer should be familiar with copy, paste, and cut. So I'm going to just briefly command C or control C for copy, command V or control V for paste, and control X for cut or command X. Next, we have the different types of paste. So let me highlight John Doe here, and I'm going to press command C to copy. And then I'm going to go down into this text frame and I'll hit return and get to a new line. And if I hit command V to paste, I get the text inserted just as I copied it. Same size, same typeface, same color, all that stuff. Let me undo that with command Z. If I choose paste without formatting, it pastes the text in without any of its original formatting. Instead, it adopts the formatting of the location into which I'm pasting it. So I could stick this in the middle of a sentence and choose edit, paste without formatting, and you can't tell that it was formatted a different way when I copied it. Let's undo all that. Next, I'm going to copy this yellow star. Edit, copy. Now, if I choose edit, paste, it sticks the copy when I paste it in dead center of the document window. So wherever my center of this window winds up being, if I zoom into here and I hit command V to paste, that star is going to get pasted directly in the center of that window. That is not necessarily where you want it. Let me undo those. Now I still got my star on the clipboard and if I choose edit, paste in place, now the star winds up pasting directly in the same spot. And if I go adding pages and I choose edit, paste in place, it puts that star in the same place as the original on every page in which I paste it. Next, we have duplicate. What does duplicate do? So right now I still have the yellow star on my clipboard. I can command V and paste it all day long. Let's undo that. What if I wanted to create a duplicate of this text frame? Well, I could copy and paste, or I could simply choose duplicate, which makes a whole new copy, but leaves my clipboard alone. So duplicate makes an exact duplicate of an object without using the system clipboard for copy and paste, leaving whatever you have on the clipboard intact. Finally, we have paste into. I'm going to make this a bit bigger here. Oh, and apparently I had a duplicate sitting on top. I'm going to take this text frame, go to cut, select this shape, and choose edit, paste into. Now I have put that text frame, and if I switch to the white arrow, I can move it around in there. I've put that text frame inside the star shape. So I haven't turned the star into a text frame. I've pasted a text frame inside it. So I now have a container inside a container. Clear, deletes. Same as hitting your delete key. And that's how to use all of the different cut, copy, and paste options in InDesign. Next, I want to talk about step and repeat.